I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is just a pure Sneasler appreciation post. Like, I have been watching the VODs back from the Dortmund Regionals. Like, I just finished watching day one, and I am loving Sneasler and seeing it in action. So much so that I hit the ranked ladder with Sneasler, and I've been having a wonderful time. I've played both Unburden and Poison Touch, and honestly, I really like both sets on Sneasler. And honestly, just look at that face. Look at that crazy eye. It's the Tasmanian Devil right there. Like, Sneasler... It's a fun time. Like, Dire Claw, it, you got so many chances of triggering different status conditions. Like, it's like Tri-Attack, but just ridiculous. Like, Tri-Attack, it's, uh, you're either getting paralyzed, burned, or frozen. Meanwhile, here's Sneasler. It's like, how do you want to suffer? Do you want to get poisoned? Do you want to be put to sleep? Or do you want to get paralyzed? Like, Sneasler, Sneasler just looks at you and he's like, I got this for days. And honestly... Yeah. Anyways, let's just jump into the showdown window here and uh, appreciate the fact that Sneasler is just such a fun Pokemon or not. I don't know. Some people don't like it. And to, to be completely honest, I understand why they don't like it. But man, I just love Sneasler here. And like I said, I've been playing both the Poison Touch and Unburden sets and it's been a wonderful time. And let's talk about Poison Touch first. So Poison Touch gives you a 30% chance of poisoning the target with your contact moves. And this does stack with Dire Claw as well. So you can really uh, have fun with the RNG roulette on whether or not you're going to get a status condition on your opponent. And plus, now Close Combat has a 30% chance to poison as well. So Close Combat, explosive damage right out of the gate with that base 120 physical fighting type stab right there. So there is that. And what I like to do is I like to have Close Combat and Dire Claw and Protect. And then as far as Sneasler's fourth move of choice goes, like there's a little bit of um, some leeway there. Like one thing you could do with it is you could have Fake Out and then this way you can also make the target flinch and just lock them down for a turn and then let Sneasler, Sneasler's partner do what it wants to do. You could have Throat Chop and then this way this provides some Dark Type coverage to Sneasler's moveset. Ghost types in particular do wall the strict combination of Dire Claw and Close Combat. So you do have to be weary of only using those two moves as your damaging choices. And even if you had Fake Out there, it would Ghost types would still wall you there because they're naturally immune to Fake Out. Now, if you get a Ghost type that terrestrializes away, well, that's their mistake. And then you can just punish them with Dire Claw or Close Combat for sure. And the nice thing here too is even though Ghost types do resist Dire Claw, you do still have the ability to trigger Dire Claw's effect by hitting them with it. So although it would be resisted, you might poison them, you might put them to sleep. But honestly, putting them to sleep is probably the worst thing you can do to them since they're guaranteed to miss at least one turn right there. So you could have that, or you could have the Throat Chomp just to be able to hit them for super effective damage right there. And if you have a Helping Hand Mon next to Sneasler, like, you can boost up the damage output right there. And honestly, this is probably a good point, or a, a, a good point in the ramble to actually segue into Sneasler's stats right here. Like, you have a base 130 attack, and you have a 120 speed. Like, on a neutral nature, with max attack investment, you hit 182. A helping hand would definitely make any attack coming off of Sneasler's uh, 130 attack do a lot of damage. And with a beneficial nature, uh, your 120 speed with max investment caps out at 189, which means Sneasler is outspeeding a lot of the regulation H set meta. So that could be really nice. Now you do have to be weary of Trick Room because Trick Room is like the bane of all speedy things in existence. So you do have to be a little bit careful there. But Porygon 2 is popping off in usage, and they do not like taking uh, close combats, even with the Eviolite helping them up. Now, one thing that is probably for the best is the fact that Sneasler does not get knockoff. Like, if Sneasler had the ability to remove your item on top of being able to potentially poison you with Poison Touch, that might be a little bit too far. But... One thing that I think could be really spicy on Sneasler as well is coaching. And honestly, this is how I've been playing my Sneasler in particular on the Poison Touch. So basically, with a Jolly Nature and max speed, like I said, you cap out at 189. You're outspeeding a lot of things. You outspeed your partner. You go for coaching. Coaching cannot be redirected because it only affects your partner's side of the field. So you give them an attack and defense boost right there. And then you let Sneasler just become more of a supportive option right there. So 
I've been playing this with Assault Vester Dragonite. I uh, recently just sat down and filmed a battle video with Backscalibur, which that's going to come out after this. And that's that video is part of the reason why we're sitting down to talk about Sneasler right now and just appreciate it. Like, Sneasler is awesome. Sneasler just gets that coaching boost off, and you get that attack and defense boost into Dragonite with an Assault Vest. Now you're really tanky. You get a loaded dice back Excalibur set up. Now you don't have to worry about Scale Shot putting you down below zero with your uh, defense drop right there. Like, it'll put you back to neutral. You get the speed boost, or you throw an Assault Vest on Backscalibur and you just drop the loaded dice. You could technically do that. And also, I've been playing this with Don Dozo. That is evil, by the way. Um, Don Dozo Sneasler is wild because Don Dozo, you get that attack and defense boost off, then you combine it with the Tatsugiri, or you get a second uh, coaching boost, and then combine it with the Tatsugiri, and then Don Dozo does a lot of damage as well. So that's that's fun because you, you quickly hit plus four in both your attack and defense uh, thanks to coaching. So you could do something like that with coaching. And another thing too that Sneasler does get is you do get upper hand, which upper hand is a spicy option because upper hand only works if your opponent is going for a priority move. And unless you're running like say Armor Tail or Queenly Majesty or Dazzling like priority moves, they are Sneezler's uh, bane of existence because Sneezler is really glassy with that 60 defense and 80 HP combination. And even the 80 special defense isn't really the greatest combination uh, for Sneezler. Like that is kind of the one saving grace for having to deal with Sneezler is it is a bit on the glassier side. So if you hit it hard enough, you will knock it out. But that's also why I like running the Focus Sash and Terra Ghost. Like if I have Terra Ghost, I become immune to fake out. I don't have to worry about extreme speed or quick attack Put an asterisk on quick attack because uh abilities like galvanize and pixelate are a thing but anyways point is normal and fighting type priority type attacks don't normally hit ghost type pokemon so you could have that alongside the focus sash and you don't have to worry then about sneezler just getting immediately ko'd so that could be relatively fun at the end of the day but honestly like i said with poison touch i really like the coaching and then that way too we just power up our partners and uh you can go from there and on the other note, the Unburdened set is kind of fun, and also I find it'd be fun to have the Shiny Sprite here. So anyways, there we go. Um, yeah, Shiny Sneasel, Sneasler is basically Supersonic. Um, or Super Saiyan, I don't know. Uh, anyways, Unburdened is extraordinarily easy to activate. You throw a Grassy or Psychic Seed on this thing, and then you pair Sneasler with the correct uh, terrain setter of choice whether it be Rillaboom or Indeedy and if it's Rillaboom great you have access to fake out Rillaboom could uh, slow something down with fake out and tie them up a turn or Rillaboom and Sneasler can just double up on them Sneasler can pop Terra flying and go for acrobatics once your held item is consumed acrobatics jumps up in power from 55 to 110 and by going Terra flying you do gain stab now one downside to this, though, is by becoming a flying type, Sneasler is technically no longer grounded, so it doesn't receive the benefits from any terrain. So if you're, say, doing this with Indeedy instead, well, now you're not going to be protected from psychic terrain. So maybe having a uh, Ferrigraph or Sarina might be good in the background. And then that way, too, you can also have the Helping Hand support from Indeedy or even Ferrigraph, for that matter. But the point is, Acrobatics consumes your item you gain stab and uh, you can do a lot of damage especially since unburdened doubles your speed you don't necessarily have to go with that 189 like you could just have the the neutral nature on your speed cap out at 172 and then with an adamant nature that 130 attack is going to cap out at 200 points so that's a lot of damage especially if you have a helping hand partner now one really good thing here too is one uh, Rillabooms like to run assault vests but um Rillaboom doesn't get access to helping hand which honestly that would make uh Rillaboom Sneasler just a terrifying combination now Incineroar does get helping hand so Incineroar could uh maybe have some shenanigans especially if you like say um had Rillaboom Sneasler and then when you turn on Rillaboom and then Sneasler went for acrobatics and then Incineroar just has a helping hand ready to go for the next turn that could be wild too but anyways point is you get extremely fast with Unburden. You hit incredibly hard. Close Combat still does major amounts of damage. So does Dire Claw. You do have to be a little bit more careful with Fake Out. So having Protect is still a very viable option. But technically, if you really wanted to, you probably could sneak Throat Chop on here. Maybe drop Close Combat or 
dare I say it, even acrobatics, but honestly, I feel like that's blasphemy. Don't do that. Please don't do that. You might be torturing yourself if you're playing an unburdened set without acrobatics. Like, once you go acrobatics, there is no going back as far as that goes. So, yeah. Anyways, point is, um, unburdened Sneasler. It could be really good paired next to Indeedy or Billaboom for the terrain to activate the seed of choice to activate unburdened. You also gain access to redirection support with Indeedy with Follow Me, and you gain access to Helping Hand. Rillaboom has Fake Out and then Priority of its own too with Grassy Glide, so you can also just um, double up on your opponent's Pokemon right there. So there is that. That's kind of the main point of what I wanted to get out of me right here. Like, honestly, as far as the Unburdened set goes, like that, that's sort of some really good combinations. And then on the coaching stat Sneasler itself can be in an offensive support and power up the likes of like say something like Dragonite, Baxcalibur, um, Tyranitar would probably benefit from it as well since Tyranitar naturally boosts its own special defense with the Sandstream while it's a rock type so really Sneasler Tyranitar could be nice especially too since uh, Sneasler also has that fighting type coverage to hit steel types for Tyranitar and uh, opposing dark types that would resist Tyranitar's dark type attacks so you could potentially do something like that so yeah Anyways, um, let me know what you think of Sneasler and how much you enjoy it. I don't want to hear any of the blasphemy about why you don't like it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. And uh, yeah, the next video after this is also going to be a Sneasler battle video. So have fun.